The Comst van Joachim Stiller, by Hubert Lampo, is a key example of magical realism, blending the boundaries of the ordinary and the extraordinary in a way that forces the reader to question the nature of reality itself. The novel explores themes of fate, destiny, and the mysterious forces that guide human lives, all while embedding these ideas in a narrative deeply rooted in the ordinary world of post-war Antwerp. The protagonist, Freak Groenewelt, is a journalist whose life takes a strange turn when he receives a letter from a man named Joachim Stiller, someone he has never met or heard of. The letter predicts events in Freak's life with uncanny accuracy, leading him to question not only the identity of Stiller but also the very fabric of his reality. The novel then unfolds as a mysterious quest for truth, intertwining personal discovery with metaphysical inquiry. Lampo uses this setup to delve into existential questions about predestination and free will, as Freak's life seems to be guided by forces beyond his understanding. At the heart of the novel is the figure of Joachim Stiller, who remains elusive and enigmatic throughout the narrative. Stiller's presence is both eerie and comforting, embodying a blend of spiritual, almost messianic symbolism with an unsettling ambiguity. His appearance seems to transcend time and space, defying rational explanation. Stiller is portrayed as a Christ-like figure, symbolizing the intersection of the mundane with the divine, and his impact on Freak's life suggests a higher purpose or plan that transcends human comprehension. The novel plays with religious and mythological motifs, using Stiller as a representation of the unknown forces that shape human destiny. The novel is also deeply atmospheric, with post-war Antwerp serving as a backdrop that enhances the novel's themes of disorientation and uncertainty. The city itself becomes a character, a place where the past and the present, the real and the unreal, seem to coexist. Lampo's descriptions of Antwerp, with its foggy streets and dilapidated buildings, reflect the mood of the characters as they grapple with forces they cannot fully understand. The city is a place of transition, much like Freak's internal journey, where the boundaries between what is real and what is imagined blur. In addition to the spiritual and philosophical questions raised by the novel, the Comst van Joachim Stiller explores the tension between rationalism and mysticism. Freak, as a journalist, represents the rational, empirical worldview that seeks logical explanations for the events around him. Yet, as the story progresses, he is forced to confront the limitations of this perspective. The more Freak tries to uncover the truth about Stiller, the more he realizes that some mysteries cannot be solved through reason alone. This tension between science and the supernatural, between logic and faith, is a central theme in the novel, reflecting the broader existential struggles of the characters. The novel's ending is both climactic and ambiguous. As Freak comes closer to understanding Stiller's significance, the line between the real and the surreal dissolves entirely. The climax leaves many questions unanswered, and the figure of Stiller remains as elusive as ever. This ambiguity is central to the novel's message, some aspects of life are beyond human comprehension, and the search for meaning often leads to more questions than answers. Lampo invites the reader to embrace the mystery rather than seek definitive solutions, reflecting the novel's broader existential themes. De Comst van Joachim Stiller is a novel that challenges readers to think beyond the confines of the known world. It blends elements of magical realism with deep philosophical and spiritual inquiry, asking questions about the nature of fate, the existence of higher powers, and the limits of human understanding. Lampo's use of atmospheric detail, his exploration of religious and mythical motifs, and his complex portrayal of characters like Freak and Stiller all contribute to a rich, multilayered narrative that continues to resonate with readers long after the final page. In its ambiguity and openness to interpretation, the novel becomes a meditation on the mysteries that define human existence.